We're here at 3D Experience World 2020 Playground again. Uh, this time we're here with Dell and I have a special guest, Chris Ramirez. Chris? Hey, nice to meet you. Thanks for uh, spending some time with us. Uh, Wonderful. What, tell us a little bit about what you do at Dell. Uh, so, personally at Dell, I am responsible for the engineering, manufacturing, and AEC verticals, specifically for our precision workstations. Right. So, we have an entire line of systems that's dedicated to uh, delivering the performance that an engineer expects, with the reliability that's expected and the and the immersiveness with uh, regards to this in front front of screen experience as well as beyond. Okay. Awesome. Thank yeah. you. And so. We have a lot of things here at the booth that we want to highlight today, but we, we really wanted to get started with some of your Hero products. So yes. why don't you walk us through a couple of these and tell us uh, you know, how the users here at 3 Experience World can benefit from your technology. Absolutely. So uh, you know, our latest model that we recently released is uh, our Precision 7540, and we actually just released this with uh, an RTX 5000 GPU. And you know, uh, uh, while there are other systems out there with 15-inch uh, screens and an RTX uh, 5000, we spent so much time de delivering a cooling solution such that it allows us to actually run our GPU uh, at 10 watts higher than our competition. Therefore, from a performance perspective, you're going to actually find that this is the world's fastest 15-inch workstation. Uh, awesome. So SolidWorks Visualize, if you're using SolidWorks Visualize with the recently added uh, you know, real-time ray tracing that's part of uh, Visualize you're going to, that was came out in 2019, you're going to get amazing performance. Right, absolutely. So that's, that's the Hero product that we're showing, as well as, you know, for those that ha uh, you know, work at a desk and don't necessarily need the portable, uh, the, the portable power of a workstation, our 3630 uh, desktop workstation, it, it, it's, it's a bulldog. It can handle up to uh, AMD WX7100 or a, a Radeon, sorry, or an RTX 5000 card, which gets you everything you need to have from a SOLIDWORKS perspective. So obviously 2D, 3D CAD, anything can really push that. But when it comes to the visualization aspect, yeah. uh, the uh, simulation aspect, mm -hmm. right, you need to have a beefy GPU. Right. And so with the work that Dell and SOLIDWORKS have done with regards to certifying all of our equipment, right. these are the top of the line uh, devices really for the SOLIDWORKS user. So basically what that means is with these devices, your visualized renders are going to render more quickly, your Correct. simulation results are going to happen more quickly, so you spend less time waiting for your computer to do you know, the that's exactly right, and you get back to more work, so you're more productive. That's correct. That's correct. Okay. Particularly with Visualize, which would have taken you uh, had to set up a, uh, something to run, and it would have taken several minutes to uh, to run, and now you're able to do it in near real time. Your engineer can kind of stay in his flow and keep up uh, the activity of what he's doing, and really uh, allows that productivity to go up. And yeah. honestly, hardware is cheap compared to the cost of a new engineer. So if we can do something that helps your engineers be 20, 30 percent more effective. Uh, that's really uh, you know helping you as a company yeah. uh, you know uh, increase your workflow. Absolutely. Now you talked about staying in flow. Yes. And I can't help but notice this gigantic <laughs> monitor behind you over here. Let's take let's take a look at this real quick. I just yeah. I have to talk about it. Like, I, I I love it. So yeah. so this is our our 49 inch 49 uh, 19 uh, ultra wide monitor. Wow. And so it's the equivalent of two 27 uh, quad HD screens that's tied huge. together. Yeah. And uh, I love it. I, I, this is what I use in my workstation. Um, and so the the uh, resolution is 5120 by, uh, by, uh, by 1400. Okay. It's a pretty incredible resolution. And uh, built-in KVMs. And really, what we built this around is we know a lot of people's workspaces is exactly 48 inches wide. This 49-inch curve is exactly 47 and a half inches wide. So you can get it into your space and fit them. And, and yeah. so, yeah, it, it certainly brings people in. Um, and, and is uh, really useful from a productivity perspective. Those integrated KVMs are awesome because if you have multiple computers, you plug them both into this monitor, and when you switch, Correct. it switches your keyboard and your mouse for you automatically. So it's like easy to switch between multiple computers, right? That's correct. Yeah. So, and so you can see this where you can oh actually God, you can set up and too. arrange your windows a certain way, wow. or you could say, I'm going to cut off and have this screen be one system, this screen be another, one keyboard, one monitor, press the button, have the KVM go back and forth between. Right. So, that's, so you have your workstation on one computer, you have yep. another, you're like maybe your personal computer, if it's a Correct. home office or something, that's and you, exactly you know, right. you've got to deal with shuffling between those. So that has all that integrated in, inside it, it. You don't have to worry about having separate keyboards and monitors, right. you've got it all up, and the, with the, the connectivity with the USB-C and, and the display port, right, we have the ability for you to have kind of a one cable connection from your PC docking station to your laptop wow. and yeah, be able to push that. That makes it simple. But yeah. you got a, a whole bunch of monitors. Yeah, up here. we'll Let's come on back. So 
You know, one thing we realize here at Dell, right, is is that it's, it's uh, about the solution. It's not about the PC. So this is about how can I help make engineers more effective. I am a reformed mechanical engineer who's gone into uh, some of the marketing world. Okay. Uh, but you know, uh, so but I, I did use you know some of the precursors of SolidWorks in, in the past, right? Whenever whenever uh, I was practicing mechanical engineer, and so knowing that the front of screen experience or the visual experience that you get. Um, whether it's in front of a regular screen or actually in VR, is something that uh, you know we really pride ourselves on. So Absolutely. whether it's the the OLED screen that you can get in a 5540. Okay. So you talk yeah. about perfect black. So if you're really from a color correction colorimeter type perspective, the uh, Dell Precision 5540 with an OLED display is something that you know, not only do you get the added benefits of low power, mm. right, but you also get proper br uh, black lighting and those kind of things. Right. Um, you know, from a screen perspective, right, depending on the type of work you're doing, we go all the way up to 8K, which wow. is 16 full HD screens on a 32 inch screen. So this system right here, that's, that's 8K. Okay, so I, so wow. you can imagine 16 1080p screens, 1080p screens yeah, wow. on that. So yeah. depending if that's the level of preciseness you need, right. we offer that. Right, so, so that, that really means, and just like you, you as a, an engineer that's kind of crossed over into marketing, yeah. a lot of people are kind of getting these multiple skills. So you may be somebody that wants to use SolidWorks one day, but you have a separate part of your job where maybe you're using some uh, Adobe products or something because yes. you're using Photoshop, you need color correctness. Correct. You need to have that 8K screen. Maybe you're a video editor because you're editing 4K video and you need to have that extra space on your screen to make sure that you can get uh, all your edits and everything cut That's in properly. That's correct. So, so. so the ability for some particular panel, so, so we know that not one size fits, fits all and right. so you're going to have different needs depending on your panel needs. So if you need to have 100% Adobe color, Right, then yeah. we've got certain monitors for you. If 72% color uh, Adobe monitor, Adobe color is is what you need. Um, yeah, at a price point, we've, yeah. we've got that as well. And I love your Precision uh, laptops here. They have that soft touch on there, really nice. And the Infinity Edge displays are always awesome. It's just like they've they've always seemed like just amazing displays to me. But yeah. they're also really powerful as well. They absolutely are. And, and so, you know, 2D, 3D CAD, or I've got a model and I just want to spin it around and show somebody, oh, oh my God, you do this all day, yeah. right? It's, it's if you're after, you know, I, the heavyweight design and visualization and simulation process that maybe you need to go to some of the, the Halo products that we were showing here, over there that are a little bit yeah. thicker. But, you know, one thing I'll call out is, you know, SolidWorks predominantly is single threaded, yep, right? right? So uh, if you're after uh, CPU, uh, you're after the highest frequency CPU you can get, right? right? So we go everything from kind of our, our, our race car over there, that 3630, to our tank. So this system oh, you can wow. actually get with two CPUs, 56 cores. Wow. So depending on the type of app, other applications you're using that might be CPU intensive, right? This is what, this is the kind of the, the Dell Precision 7920s that we have to cater yeah. towards you. Something for multiple cores. Correct. Like a lot of rendering and that sort of thing can take advantage of cores like that in several cases. And so. some simulation, simulation other yeah. simulation uh, products also are kind of core dependent. So okay. yeah, it really it really. Uh, depends on your workflow. So really right. the first thing that a, a, a Dell sales rep would ask is, well, what software do you use? And that's really what we want to understand is, um, you know, what do you use? We have a, a, our Dell uh, Precision Recommender and actually allows online for you to go in and say, you know, I'm, I'm utilizing the so I'm utilizing Sim uh, Simoya, I'm in the middle of the road, and I should come back with recommendations of here's the type of precision we think wow. will work best for you. I didn't know you guys had it. So that, is that on Dell.com? It's on Dell.com, okay. absolutely. So you just roll over there, anybody can access that and use that to find the perfect computer for them. If you go to precisionworkstations.com, yeah. it'll come up as one of the first uh, links on precisionworkstations.com. Perfect. perfect, okay. And well, yeah, go ahead. I just so, you know, one of the other things that, that we have here is our 3930 1U rack. So this is a, a, a very unique system in that right, you can put 42 of these into a, into a single 42U rack. And so for those uh, environments where you want to remove the heat and right. the noise from underneath the desk, that's right. Um, you're actually able to say, all right, I'm going to move this all to a data center, put it behind 10 feet of concrete, yeah. I'm going to put a thin client on the engineer's desk, and now you have the added security 
also the, the, from a power perspective, right? Mm -hmm. So you've outfitted your data center to, to support all the power draw right. versus having to put that in all your individual unique cubicles. That's and right. you can see that we can even power you know, a Quadro RTX card. Yeah, I was about to say, there, I see a Quadro card in there, which means this is purpose-built for is a, as like you know a workstation. It absolutely is. So you'll find this uh, on the Dassault list of approved hardware for, for running SolidWorks in, in the Dassault suite. And uh, you know, it, it, again, at, at 1U, it's a great entry point right. to be able to say, okay, I'm going to slide some of these in and be able to expand as needed. Very cool. Yeah. Okay. Well, let's move on around here. Now, sure. I did notice earlier when I walked to the booth, I saw some ruggedized uh, equipment here. Yes. Tell us a little bit about what was going on here. Yeah, so, so we actually have a lot of people who have, do field work, right? right. So it's Absolutely. not the people who are attending here aren't just doing design. There are other yeah. people who have you know, field work. And so what we actually have is Dell has a line of uh, our rugged devices, so our, our latitude rugged and, and, and rugged extreme devices um, that uh, basically operate in any environment. So they're salt water rated, uh, they're drop wow. test rated. We have our, our 72, uh, 7424 that we actually had a, a police officer, police car parked on top of for three days yeah. and then had it come off and boots right back up. Wow. So yeah. we do a lot of neat things with, with our rugged devices as well as our IoT edge devices. So we have uh, our, our IoT uh, endpoint here, uh, Gateway, which you know, if you're, if you're you know, looking at everything that Dassault is doing from an IoT perspective, right, you need to get that data pumped out from your, your endpoints and that's what the, uh, Very the, cool. the rugged. I could have really used one of these when Gateway. I was in bulk powder manufacturing because the, we had this fine dust that was going everywhere, and it was yes. always a problem for our computers. And that something like this would have been perfect. Exactly. Take it around the manufacturing floor; it would have been. The and we offer fanless for PCs like as well, we, yeah. particularly because we don't want to get the corrosion, we don't want to get the uh, particulate matter inside the PC because it kills right. it. Right. Exactly. So, so well, let's move on from rugged, and to, let's see what's going on on this side of. Uh, of yeah. The booth. So as I was saying a little earlier about about the about uh, the front of screen experience, uh, you know, everyone knows about VR. But uh, what we haven't really seen is a lot of collaboration within VR. So you've got okay. one model, you've got two, uh, two engineers, perhaps they're remote. In this particular case, they're both side by side, right? But you have them working remotely on the same model. Do we have the... Oh yeah, let's see them do... Yeah, let's, uh, uh, I, want to sh I want to see them in the same, in the same model. Okay. So you can see that they're inside of SolidWorks. They've got a car chassis and we have Martin uh, over there who is making a change. And then over here, Tony, you're good. Tony down here is working on the same model. And so, you know, what we're trying to show everyone is even for applications that aren't fully VR ready, you have solutions like our friends at TechViz that are able to put you inside of VR and actually have a collaborative VR experience. Wow. So now that looks like they got SolidWorks running over there. This is SolidWorks. Yep. Wow. Okay. And, and so uh, you know, one of the things that, that we work so so TechViz is a partner of, of Dell and Nvidia's, and they make software that allows you to enter VR with really any 3D data set. Oh, it doesn't okay. have to be ready. Doesn't have to be sp specifically coded for VR. Okay. But for things like e drawings, right. that have been specifically coded for for VR, we actually can go around the corner and talk yeah, a little bit about that. Yeah, let's take a look that. at that. All right. Yeah. We'll walk around right Thank over Thank you, here. gentlemen. So, what we have here, what we have here is, um, uh, hi, Gary, how are you? Hello. Gary Davis from, from AMD. <laughs> so we have a solution here that is uh, the Dell Precision 7740 plus uh, Vive Focus Plus. Can I turn this around? Yeah. Oh, okay. And a, just, just a generally uh, 802.11 uh, Wi-Fi router. And with this, we're actually able to take uh, we're inside of eDrawings, and he's able to stream it wirelessly to that VR headset. So if you are going on a, uh, a, a run to your client and you want to show them what's going on, you don't want to have to take lighthouse stations, you don't have to take a big corded setup. Literally, all I've got to take are these three pieces, pop them in, and now they're inside of, of their uh, assembly. So with that, I actually want to turn you over to, to Gary Radburn. So Gary is Dell's director of virtual reality. Uh, and uh, so I'd love to hand it off to you, Gary. Fantastic. Cool. Thanks, Chris. Chris. Gary, yeah. Thank you so much for spending a little bit of time with us. Yeah, tell us a little bit more about virtual reality and how Dell can help us if we want to get into that. Yeah, absolutely. 
the, uh, the machines we've got here that Chris has already just run through is really like helping the acceptance of VR now. Okay. Democratization of systems a few years ago that used to have a really big rig to drive VR inside of that. Yeah. As you can see now, you can have a much smaller machine, much more transportable, doing VR demos to your customers, internal training. It's really like changed the face of what we're doing. Uh, then we can take it to the next level as well, which is customers are saying, well, I'm using applications on here that perhaps aren't using the full power of the machine. We've yeah. got more and more, more and more cores, uh, compute cores inside of there. And for some applications, they're only running on one, two, three, but you've got eight, 10, 12 inside the machine. How can I make more effective use of that? And we're starting to see situations now where using things like Cloud XR from NVIDIA, we can actually separate a machine out in the data center. We can actually run multiple sessions and multiple GPUs inside of that machine in the data center and then feed that out to individual users wow. from there. Okay. So now we're really getting that prevalence of Cloud XR without having expensive machines in the workplace, putting it in the most secure place in your building, which is the data center, but still giving that same experience as if it was uh, right next to your desk. Wow, so if you're a, if you're a, a company that heavily relies on VR, but you want to be able to, to kind of like make those clients like a little bit more thin, maybe not spend so much uh, money on IT infrastructure, overhead, stuff like that. This sounds like maybe a solution for that. Yeah, you're, you're making the best use of the equipment you can. Absolutely. And the great thing is with things like the HTC Vive Focus Plus headset, that's running over standard gigabit network in wow. the wireless arena. So there's no special adapters or anything like in there. You've got it inside your organization. We're just using things in a more effective method to give you a, a different way of working and making it part of your workflow. Right, exactly. Like, you know, this router here just kind of a, could be a run of the mill router, it's not necessarily anything that, you know, super special or super high powered or anything like that. And I, obviously, you need more and more power the more headsets you put on there. Sure. But, yeah, it's off the shelf type stuff. Well, thank you so much, Gary. Appreciate it. Thank you very much. Thank you, Chris. Appreciate thank you. it. Appreciate it. And uh, you know, we'll, we're just uh, happy to you know, spend some time here with you guys at Dell. Thank you so much for sharing your technology with us. Thank you. Thank you.